Hey guys, Paz here. This is going to be a quick video. Uh, this is literally the first time I've played this game. I'm not re going to really do a playthrough or anything, I'm not reviewing it. This game is called The Culling. It's in early access. They brought it out about three or four days ago. Uh, they brought it out early, but it is early access. So uh, it is on sale right now for $13.49 US. Insert your conversion for your your currency so it's really affordably priced it's a battle royale in, uh, inspired game so in it you basically have your character there's a single player mode and right now a two player team mode uh, but that's all they have right now and you're kind of thrust into this the culling this battle where you've got to kind of like craft uh, you know basically run around punch some trees punch some rocks craft some weapons some armor there's loot in buildings that you can get. You can sell the uh, loot for like, they're called uh, uh, funk points, F-U-N-C. Uh, you can um, then use those points to call in airdrops, to heal yourself, etc., etc. You want to kill the other players so you're the last one surviving. You can see here I'm customizing my character. There is a male character. There's no female characters yet. Uh, they are adding that. So you can kind of see you get some options i've only played this game this the only time so i really don't have a lot of stuff as you play the game you'll earn more skins and different things you can use clothing for your characters and stuff and you can learn more of the perks and stuff uh, so we're not going to get into a lot of that um, i've had a few little crashes with the game but again it's early access um, so you know it's to be expected uh, most people i've seen play it say it works really well um, once you kind of get your character outfitted, you jump right into a game, and that's what we're going to do. So you can see here I'm picking the free-for-all, which would be a solo battle to death. There is the team mode, and there is a practice mode. I probably should do the practice mode because I have no idea how the combat works. This game has combat that is very similar in the fact that there's you know attack modes and there's kind of defensive modes where you, you block and you push. So I have no idea how any of that stuff works, so I'm going to get destroyed in this game. You can see as I selected a game, we're going through a countdown. My first attempt at playing this, when the countdown was over, I hit escape because it tells you that's what you hit to see the crafting menu, and the game crashed. So you're going to see a little glitch there, and this is actually my second attempt running it. I'm in the game, I'm in the countdown. You know, you're basically are all the players are dropped in in these boxes, and once the uh, match starts, it'll open up. My mouse sensitivity was way off on this, and I had to adjust it, and I'm still not very happy with it. But I'll be honest, I was afraid to hit escape again to go and change settings because I was afraid it would crash. So you can see I punched this tree, got a few sticks, which I can make into a bandage. I believe you can take another set of sticks and craft the bandage into uh, a backpack but when i did it here i got confused uh I'm, i don't know exactly on all the settings i th thought other players had a better field of view so i probably want to look at adjusting my field of view uh, but i pretty much went with whatever the default settings the game had were and i was getting i think on high or some of the high levels i was getting pretty good uh, 60 plus frame rates um, even though I had desync turned off, it seemed to still lock it at 60. But you can see here, I went into a building. Uh, I closed the door here, so I'm like afraid somebody will come in. There's crates, you know, lockers. I found some stuff. I don't know what all this stuff does, but I pick it up. This game, you do need a backpack to be able to carry stuff, but even with a backpack, you can't carry a lot. So this is not like a lot of games where you can do on crazy amounts. Here, I'm trying to figure out how to unlock this thing but it says I need 50 of the F-U-N-C, the funk points. I only have, um, I believe, 12, if you look at the bottom of my screen. So you can kind of hear there the, the uh, like, uh, there's like a, kind of like a robot announcer that kind of announces how people die. Uh, you know, like if you kill people, it'll announce it to all the other players. We heard somebody else got killed. I'm trying to look around here. I have really no idea what I'm doing. The mouse sensitivity is, like I said, is way off. I just was afraid to hit escape and mess with it, especially now that there's people running around that will be trying to kill me. The blue station you see there and the red one, the red one's health. The blue one lets you basically sell items that you find for the, the uh, funk points. 
Uh, I probably could sell some of these items, but I thought there was like a uh, thing here nearby that I could go to that creates an explosion of gas. But I'm just going ahead right now and wasting uh, some of these stem things I got, like a stamina boost, because I figure I'm, I'm dead here at, at any moment. But I'm going to go ahead and punch this tree. My initial goal was I was going to make a backpack because I had the bandages. So I pick it up and then I think, okay, I got my branch. And then I'm like, do I need to hit another, hit the tree some more? I'm looking around to see if anybody's nearby. Um, and then I see this thing out here. So I'm thinking, oh, I can call in like an airdrop or something, but I need the 115 funk points for that. So it's very crucial early on to get loot and cash it in if you don't need it. You can see there I did one of the defensive moves um, for combat. Uh, I'm just looking around right now to see if I can see anything. I have no skills with combat. I know you can take rocks and I think like craft two rocks and make a knife. I make a big mistake Someone here though. Their death was due to a fatal injury with a spear. So somebody else just died and I didn't want to make this, but I guess, you know, I made it. <laughs> so I hit escape there, not even thinking and it didn't crash. So that's a good sign. Uh, but then I'm just like, okay, I got a bandage. You can see my health's up a little bit from one of those stems packs I took. And I see a building up here, so I thought, okay. You know, let's just go ahead up here and, and see if we see anything, get some loot. But when I get up here, there's a person, and I quickly see there's two of them fighting. So I always think a good move is to run in, and as soon as two people fight, fight. Don't let the other guy have a chance to heal. But I made a mistake here. I did not have my fists active. So I'm fighting with fists. This guy has a spear or sword of some type. So I'm probably going to get screwed here. I'm probably going to be dead. But I figured just for the sake of this quick video that I would show. Um, you know, I think I do a pretty good job here for fighting a guy that looked like he was basically full health. Um, and he has a spear, you know, a sword there, whatever. And, and I've just got my, my fists. So kill boy kill, killed me. You can see here it shows me. I did 89 damage, which is not bad, and I got a reward of a Autumn Leaf Camo Cowboy hat. So, very fun game. Uh, obviously, I have to skip my settings down pat. I've got to practice, maybe do some of the training, uh, but you're going to see a stream this. You're going to see some recordings of this. It's just another little fun game that you can jump into and play some quick combat uh, looks like a lot of fun. You can see here, you can even spectate after you die. I think it locks it though, so you can't like um, free roam. You might be able to change to other players. But it's a really good game. It's called The Calling, available on Steam. Check it out. Look for more videos in the coming weeks and live streams.